I'll be back. So, 6 alpha, 1 omega. It's looking like a pretty definitive um, alpha. Did you find the kid? Oh, sweet Jesus. The pain. Morphine. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Sarif got spooked that, that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Sarif. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was, until... Christ, fuck it. It hurts enough just trying to breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me, professionals, I think your boss pissed off the wrong people trying to dig up your dirt. What people? What did you find? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches, they're headed there now. Syrup had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't you don't know. Your parents, your your real parents. The tests, the fire. What are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak? Focus, Radford. I put it all I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley. Behind the bank. Your files are there. But Michelle knows. Michelle knows more. You need to stop. You need to stop them. Okay, I don't think... I may have just completely missed it when I was reading the subtitles, but I don't think I saw any Alpha, Beta, or Omega. Uh, so we're on 6 Alpha, 2 Omega right now. Did I, Which one did I ask about? Fuck. You, robot. This... This is all your fault. Give me... Give me another shot. Morphine. Or go fuck yourself. Focus, Radford. Ah, that hit the spot. I think I could get used to this stuff. <sighs> hey, I'm feeling a little more talkative. Already. I am not turning you into an addict. Robot. Okay, uh, who the hell is Michelle? You mentioned someone named Michelle. Who's Michelle? <laughs> your guardian angel. Who is she? Tell me. Do robots believe... Do robots even believe in angels? Or did they take that out of you? Did they take that away? You know, your soul. When they built you. <laughs> Tell me. What was it like... When you died, Jensen. I know you're in a lot of pain, and the morphine is... Just find her. Before they do. You... You owe her that much. Who did this to you? Guys in suits. One of them, David or Daniel, something like that. British accent. He was in charge. Talked about a Mr... Mr. Gray. They were in a, a hurry. Four of them, not counting the one they left behind. Well-armed, disciplined. I, I didn't stand a chance. Maybe that metal corpse you call a body will do better than mine did. What were they looking for? You, robot. They wanted my information on you. Someone powerful has their eyes on you and is very interested in your past. And Seraph. Why did Seraph stop the investigation? You said he was spooked. What spooked him? You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. <laughs> Hell, even I don't. I still don't believe it. You believe in ghosts, Jensen? Seraph was spooked by ghosts? Close enough. Illuminati. <laughs> Conspiracies, theories, it's all bullshit. But you stink of it, Jensen. Enough to have your boss, one of the most powerful men in the world, look away. <clears throat> You're a ghost. A fucking tragedy. Everything you touch, everything that touches you, dies. Well, should I touch you then? Dude's being really insensitive. 
Radford, I know you're in a lot of pain, but it's important you give me as many details as you can. There's a storage unit in the alley next to the bank near the police department. That's where the suits are headed. I tried. It didn't give them anything. There's a safe. It has what you want. It'll get you to her. It'll lead you to her, to Michelle. The safe. They don't have the, the right combination. Four, zero, six, two. Remember. Is there anything you can give me to help? Take whatever you want from here or the storage unit. There's a weapons cache and some money there. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I'm leaving, but I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when, when the first bullet hit me. The second one. They, they fucking pa- paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know what a 9 millimeter round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair, shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen, I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm going to get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Okay, so we are on 9 alpha, 1 beta... 3 Omega, I think it's pretty clear that we're on Alpha. And, um, the Casey Augment is gonna help you to persuade him to, uh, keep pushing forward. Why do you hate augmentation so much? Because it ain't right. You can't, you can't go changing the way things are. You can't replace the real thing with an, an imitation. It ain't right. It ain't. Natural. It can save your life. No, you lose more than what gets left behind in the chopping block. You should know this by now. Huh, I'm not actually sure which one to go for. Neither is suicide. Don't you fucking judge me, robot. You don't know what I've been through. Come on, this should be easy for you. I know Saraf didn't put blades in those, in those arms just so you could trim the hedges. And there we go, activate pheromones to convince him. We want to use um, appease for alphas. Alphas can be appeased, but betas will be angered by this approach. We know for sure he isn't a beta because he only got one of those. I don't think you really want to die, Radford. I think you're just scared. I was scared too. I didn't ask for any of this, just like you didn't ask for a bullet in the gut. But you can't blame me, or Seraph, or technology for what's happening here. I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for you and your damn past. I never should have taken the job, but I needed the work, the money. Even if I wanted to. I can't afford the fucking augmentation surgery. And I can't... I can't live like a cripple for the rest of my life. Living through adversity is what makes us human. It's not flesh and blood or even bone that defines us. I might be more machine than flesh, but I'm still alive. I'm still human. You got heart for a robot? I'll give you that. Tell you what. I'll play along with this little after-school special you got going on here. 
I'll get through this. But not, not because of this lovey-dovey bullshit charade. I'll live for the truth, for revenge. Whoever hired those suits, I'm going after those sons of bitches. I don't care how deep this rabbit hole goes. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. And Jensen, I don't know how bad you think your wounds were, but your boss, your friend Sarif, they butchered you. Went too far with the operation. You were an experiment, a test. But he's the one that made you a weapon. <laughs> Almost makes me feel bad for you. Almost. He does have a point. I did think getting my arms chopped off for robotic ones was a bit extreme. And, um, well, he gets to live now. If you don't have the Casey Augment, well, you either leave him there or you let him die. Uh, okay. That's not the right way, is it? No, this way is. Can we get out of a window from here is my question. Richard, I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He's in pretty bad shape. You need to call it in, get an ambulance to his apartment stat. Got it. And Jensen, don't get yourself killed, okay? Ah, oh, Francis. I didn't know you cared. Don't flatter yourself. I care about the security of this company. You getting yourself killed compromises that. So don't be stupid. It does seem like Pritchard is starting to care more and more. Uh, there was definitely more concern from him in the la latest, last, sort of a blend of those two words, in the latest mission, uh, from when we were in Picus Tower, and ooh, enemies. Of course he is. I know Mr. Da Mr. Gray is landing tonight. We're working on it, yeah. Listen, believe me, we tried. The old man proved resilient. And we left someone behind to watch him. And if we need, we can go back, but I'm not sure how much more he can take. That's why we need Smith. That doesn't sound like an English accent to me. That sounds more like an Irish accent. But it matters not. He won't be speaking for much longer. What happened? And just the one guy left. You need to be careful because there are actually uh, police off outside the last time I did this. Ooh, he's gone hostile. And he's dead. Be careful. Apparently there's more. There's one in here last night. Yep. Damn it! Come Keep on. okay. Just punching in the face. The simplest option. I believe those are police now. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let's quickly uh, give ourselves enough energy to go camo. Yeah, they were not going to be an issue at all. I really need to upgrade my invisibility to stop draining so much. Okay, safe. 462, good thing they... Well, Jensen remembered it for me because I'd forgotten. Photographs, revolver, credit chip. I should probably look at the ebook. Um, anything else? You have anything on you, sir? No, you don't. You are useless to me. I'm just taking a quick look to see if there's anything else at all. He could have told me the password. I wonder if I could go back to him and say, Oi! Password! Uh... Ooh, things are going swimmingly. I just know on the next hack it's gonna activate. No? Everything's gone well. That's unusual. 
This is highly unusual. I am not used to this. Access granted. Wow. We got everything. Um, no offense. Can't be bothered to read through this. Some of it we've already taken a quick look at as well. Uh, forwarded files that were sent to Seraph and that were originally sent to Seraph and then sent to us. And now we are going to S1. Clearly I'm missing something. Maybe if I just leave now. No. Okay. What am I missing? Definitely read that. Maybe I need to look at pictures? I have no idea. Ah, a whole bunch of new stuff. So we've taken a look at that now. Now the waypoint's gone. Okay. Fantastic. Now we can move on. To, uh... Where? No! Stop doing that. Maybe I missed an email. Yes, I did miss an email. Ah, Michelle. Hey, B, got, got a tip for you on that case you're working. Uh, there we go. Now we can move on. My bad for missing that one email. Slowed everything down. We want to go there. Wherever there is. It looks like it's in the same. Oh no, I was thinking it was it was in the same building as where uh, Radford or Detective whatever his name was, uh, his building. But I guess not. It is in this building. We've got to find a conventional entrance somewhere. Conventional entrance there does not seem to be. Fire escape. Or? N no. Not that entrance. That entrance definitely doesn't work. I guess we're just gonna have to climb up. I was about to call it the old fashioned entrance, but no, that would just be a door. Okay. Slowly getting there. I think this might have actually been- yes. This does seem like it was the only entrance into this building. And here we go. Did I leave my door open? Wait, you're not from Rolling Mills. You're too handsome to be from Roland Mills. No, I'm not. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Roland Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam when he was a baby. Oh, could you be a dear and fetch them for me? I forgot who has them, though. Um, I forgot to pay attention to the personality type. I only noticed one beta. Hmm, I hope I've gotten that correct. And I don't remember whether we need to use pheromones on her or not. Are these the photographs? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I, I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. Forever, it seems. 
Such a happy baby. Ooh. You know what? I think I'm gonna risk it. I would love to hear more about the boy in those photographs. Such a polite and handsome young Beta, man. Beta, it was. It'll be my pleasure. The boy in the photo, Adam. Jensen was never really his last name, you know. We only gave that to him after the fire. Fire? At White Helix Lab. That's where Adam's real parents were. At least I think they were his parents. All those babies, the gene therapy they went through. But Adam, oh, Adam was special. Special? How? He survived what they did to those babies. He was one of a kind. Then, when we heard they were going to use him to inoculate the next batch of infants... Wait, what were they doing to the babies? I wish I could remember. I was just part of a nursing staff. But Adam's parents, they started the fire. Yes, I remember that. They asked me to hide Adam. Then they started the fire. Poor things. They never got out in time. So they started a fire at White Helix Labs. And you hid me. No, not you, dear. Adam Jensen. Or at least I think that was his name. Well, I gave him to the Jensens to raise. They were a lovely couple. Miss Walters, my Adam's real parents, who were they? I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, when are them rolling mills people gonna get here with my dinner? Hmm. This is interesting stuff. Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard. But do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Radford and I spoke about many, many things. But... Don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? Be patient with her, Jensen. Or whatever your real last name is. Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard. But do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Radford huh. and I... I'm guessing we can't. Thank you for your time, Miss Walters. Oh. Before I forget, if you see Adam, could you please give him this? It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. You've done enough for him, Mrs. Walters. I'm sure he'd want you to keep the money. So nice of you, like Mr. Radford and Adam. You know, they called him a genetic marvel. He was ahead of his time. They was hoping to tear out so much from his DNA, but we stopped him. Oh, yes, we did. Ah, uh, sweet lady. Kind of makes me sad. Pritchard, 